Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at how to update your build a -Pi. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Well, I am almost embarrassed to admit that uh, during the whole build a -Pi rewrite, we checked for updating every single thing except the build a -Pi script itself. Somehow this completely slipped through the cracks, I failed to get it done, and nobody uh, caught it during the beta testing. So we have uh, gone back and gotten that issue resolved. So this should only apply to those running 3.0.0 and 3.0.1. Starting with 3.0.2, which is what we're going to be installing today, the update is actually built in, but the first time we're going to have to do that manually uh, so that we can get up to the latest revision. So let's go ahead and start by opening up the terminal window, and this is fairly quick and easy. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and move to the PyBuild directory, and we'll do that with cd space pi hyphen build. Go ahead and press return. Now, if you're uncertain what version of build a -Pi you're actually running right now, we can find out by running cat space changelog. We'll give it the pipe symbol, and we'll say head space minus one. We'll go ahead and hit return, and you'll see that this one is 3.0.0. So, let's try the easy version to update this first. Inside your Pi build directory, we're just going to run get space pull, and we'll go ahead and press enter. Now, this may work for you, this may not. As you can see in this case, it did not work because I have other changes that I've made inside this directory. So let's show you how to do this. Uh, if you do run into any errors right here when you run the get pull command. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear that screen, and I'm going to type cd. That's going to take us back to our home directory. Next, let's run rm space hyphen rf space pi hyphen build. And what that's going to do is that's just going to obliterate uh, and remove the pi build directory. Now, let's go ahead and head over to GitHub so we can grab a link. From GitHub, let's go ahead and click on the PyBuild repository right here, and I'll leave a link to that uh, right across the screen here and down in the description below. Once we're on this page, let's click the code button right here, and we're just going to highlight and copy all of this information. Back on the Py, let's go ahead and re-download that repository. So let's run git space clone space and let's paste in that link that we just copied from GitHub. And we'll go ahead and press return. And that's it. You should be on the very latest version of build a -Pi now. Let's go ahead and verify that with cd space pi hyphen build. That'll put me in the pi build directory. And let's once again run cat space changelog. We'll give it the pipe symbol head minus one, and you'll see that we're now on 3.0.2. And that's all there is to it, and hopefully this puts an end to this, because now with 3.0.2, every time you run the update uh, portion of build a -Pi, so from the main Pi menu, come down to Preferences, and you click on build a -Pi, it's going to check and make sure that you have the very latest version of build a -Pi. So as we add uh, software applications and things like that to build a -Pi, you'll be notified of those new releases and you can go ahead and download it automatically. All right, guys, we will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.